Nigeria's gross domestic product crashed by 23% following the outbreak of coronavirus in the year 2020. Minister of Health Osage Haniri made the revelation at a town hall meeting of the South-South on COVID-19 vaccination in Nigeria. It proposed a high national vaccination coverage to check the spread of the virus. Paul is in our report. This town hall meeting organized by Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19 in collaboration with National Primary Health Development Agency, is holding in Benin after several postponements. The aim of this stakeholders meeting in this zone is to provide answers to posing issues causing high hesitancy against COVID-19 vaccination, as what bodies believe is the only way out of the ravaging pandemic. Minister of Health says the national COVID-19 vaccination coverage is urgently needed to prevent asthmatic infection carriers from spreading the virus. The disease has spread with unprecedented speed around the whole world and also around Nigeria. It has taken millions of lives and afflicting global economy, the consequences of which we have not yet seen in full. Nigeria has lost over 2,000 lives and Nigeria GTV crashed by 23%. Other countries did much worse due to the slowdown of global economic activity occasioned by this virus. Going by the recommendations of the World Health Organization, Africa needs up to 274 million doses to fully vaccinate 10% of our population by the end of September and 930 million doses to meet the 40% target by December and 1.7 billion to reach 70% of the population. The vaccine target set by WHO are for all countries and here all states to fully vaccinate at least 10% of the population by end of September and 40% of the population by end of December and another 70% by mid-year next year. Today as it stands, we are not only fighting COVID-19 pandemic, but we are also fighting large-scale misinformation and disinformation, which has led to significant vaccination hesitancy all over the world. Our cold chain equipment is in proper order and all vaccines remain under close watch from the point of receipt at the airport to the point it gets into the arm of our citizens. The outcome of this engagement is expected to help key players in the South-South Zone to develop a roadmap for a successful fight against COVID-19. Paul Ezenwa, TVC News, Benin.